Imagine you're shopping in a supermarket on Pluto. Suddenly the ground begins to shake, but here gravity is so weak that instead of crashing to the floor, objects float, tumble, and drift through the air. In my latest simulation, I wanted to see what an earthquake would look like in this alien world. The shelves buckle, cans and boxes rise slowly like balloons, and the car itself hovers as if pulled by invisible strings. Strong earthquakes on Earth are terrifying because of their violent crashes, but on Pluto, they would almost unfold in slow motion, hauntingly beautiful yet strange. On Earth, gravity pulls everything down hard and fast, but Pluto's gravity is only about 1 16th of Earth's. To give you a sense of what that means, let's compare. If you drop something from one meter on Earth, it hits the ground in about half a second. But on Pluto, the same object would take almost two seconds to fall. That's about four times slower. So during a Pluto quake, Things don't crash, they float down in eerie slow motion. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. Because gravity is weaker, buildings on Pluto actually weigh a lot less. Let's take a fragile unreinforced masonry building, the kind that usually crumbles in strong earthquakes on Earth. Imagine it weighs 1,000 tons here. On Pluto, it would weigh only about 62 tons. That's a massive difference. The building is so much lighter that the same shaking forces would struggle to bring it down. So while earthquakes devastate these structures on Earth, on Pluto, the very same building might stay standing. But there's a trade-off. If your ceiling tiles or cans of food do fall in a Pluto quake, they don't slam to the floor. They drift, tumble, and float. In a way that makes things safer, but also more dangerous. Imagine a heavy beam slowly hovering toward you. It's easier to dodge, but it never loses its momentum. Pluto does have an atmosphere, but it's incredibly thin. It's made mostly of nitrogen with a little methane and carbon monoxide, all coming from surface ices. The air pressure is tens of thousands of times lower than Earth's, and temperatures are around minus 220 degrees Celsius. So it's more like a ghostly haze than a real atmosphere. Because of that, sound doesn't travel well on Pluto. You would only hear noises if you were close to the source. A can falling right next to you might make a faint clink, but a crash across the supermarket would be nearly silent. In a Pluto quake, the scene would look dramatic, but it would sound strangely quiet. And how about us? On Earth, we would duck, cover, and hold. On Pluto, you would almost bounce around. Since you weigh so much less, every shake would toss you gently upward, and you would kind of drift before landing again. A Pluto quake wouldn't just rattle your supermarket. It might turn you into a clumsy astronaut bouncing between the shelves. So that's what a Pluto quake would look like inside a supermarket. Slow motion falling, floating debris, eerie, faint and distorted sounds, and even bouncing shoppers. Thanks for watching this strange journey beyond Earth. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Earthquake Sim for more creative science and earthquake adventures. See you in the next one.